royal commentator Angel Levin has shut down Prince Harry over the Duke's bad boy streak which the author linked back to his time at Eton College. Ms. Levin argued Harry was no using his ability to do and say what he liked outside the royal family to enjoy being naughty. She added that the Duke of Sussex was also motivated by a need to be more important than his brother Prince William. Ms. Levin told Talcradio, when he was at Eton, he hated being there and he decided he was going to be with the bad boys. I think Harry has got this streak. A lot of us have but we put it to one side of being bad and showing up. But I think he is also wanting to be more important than William. So HES got the ability now to say and do things that he could probably never do before. And he is enjoying being naughty, she added. It comes as Harry suffered a brutal backlash over using a private jet to travel around despite his public eco-campaigning. The Mail has reported that the Duke opted to take a £45 million private jet back home to Santa Barbara, California from Aspen in Colorado this week. This led GB News host Mark Dolan to argue. It is almost like this couple say one thing and do another. I thought the Hollywood wing of the royal family were really worried about global warming. But Harry has landed in Santa Barbara after taking his millionaire friend's private jet home, just months after lecturing us all about climate change. The campaigning royal boarded the 20-seater, £45 million plane from a polo match in Aspen, Colorado to his home in Santa Barbara, California. Dolan's GB News colleague Dan Wooten added on Twitter you couldn't make it up. Fake eco-warrior Prince Harry takes yet another private jet flight, this time to go to a posh polo match. Just remember this is a bloke hectoring us all about air travel. Given his actions, he should be roundly ignored. Harry has been a vocal advocate for tackling climate change. The Duke told Oprah Winfrey on Apple TV earlier this year that the climate crisis was the most pressing issues we are facing. Harry told the US chat show host, with kids growing up in today's world, pretty depressing, right, depending on where you live, your home country is either on fire, it's either underwater, houses or forests are being flattened.